Uh, this is Chris the Nightmare Ariola, and you're watching Mission Boxing Today on YouTube. Heavyweight boxing fans, what's the deal? Now, I cannot wait to read the comment section on this video, all right? But uh, looking at BoxingScene.com, and it says here, Hearn still pressing to make Deontay Wilder versus Dillian White. Okay, now we know Dillian White is going to be on the Crawford versus Ndongu. Let me give a shout-out to both of them dudes, man, for making that undisputed fight happen. No BS excuses. No, um, this guy doesn't sell pay-per-views or he doesn't put asses in seats or nobody knows who he is or he needs to expand his brand first. None of that shit. Undisputed. You know what I mean? But anyways, Jennings is also on that card too. He's fighting Daniel Martz, another heavyweight that's on that card. But we know that Dillian White is scheduled to be on that card. They tried to put Michael Grant out there. Now I'm hearing mixed reasons as to why the Michael Grant thing didn't work. Um, I know Eddie Hearn said that he want Dillian White to come over here and make a splash. And like I told you guys before, that fight with Michael Grant wouldn't even make a drip. You know what I mean? So I'm glad that that fight didn't go through. It's an ancient Michael Grant, man. You know what I mean? Dude's 44 years old. The last five years, he fought three times, all stoppage losses. And like I said, man, I know I keep saying this, but when I think of Michael Grant, when I think of Michael Grant, literally, y'all, I think of like No Limit Records, listening to Master P, and wearing FUBU. Like, <laughs> I know I keep saying it, man, but that's what I really think. And I, you know, uh, obviously the Lennox Lewis fight, the Galata fight, and him um, walking with the uh, Holyfield entourages, they can't, you know, as he uh, walked to the ring to fight Mike Tyson. That's what I think when I think of Michael Grant. So nobody wants to see that fight, even if it is just a little eight rounder. You can get somebody other than Michael Grant. You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, they're still looking for an opponent for August 19th. And uh, now this is what Eddie Hearn had to say, okay, about the whole situation concerning Deontay Wilder. This is what he had to say. He says, we have made three really good offers. Wilder's team have got some issues they need to solve with their mandatory challenger. But we've offered them a big, big deal, and I think they are interested. It should be a great fight. No one really wants to fight Dillian White because he is a he is a right handful. He has got a great chin. He has got a great work rate. He's strong, and he can punch. To be honest, he's right pain in the arse in press conferences, and you may end up having a roll around with him before you get into the ring. He's so dangerous. First of all, and this isn't just Eddie Hearn and Dillian White. I'm getting sick and tired of, I don't know about y'all, man, but me, I just get sick and tired of people saying nobody wants to fight me or nobody wants to fight him. That's bullshit, man. We can't have, look, it's one thing when there's really one guy that nobody wants to fight. But in the heavyweight division, man, I'm hearing 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 30, damn, well, not 30, but just a lot of heavyweights going around saying nobody wants to fight me. Nobody wants to get in the ring with me. That's bullshit. There's always somebody out there that will fight you that's in the top 20 or that's on your level that will fight you. Show them the money, too. You know what I mean? But I understand Eddie Hearn's doing his job. He's promoting his fighter. You know what I mean? He's doing what a promoter's supposed to do, man. But, yes, uh, Dillian White will give anybody... Um, you know, a good back and forth bander at the uh, press conference. Yes, he will come to fight. Yes, he's in shape. Yes, he's tough. He's a tough guy. All that, you know what I mean? But can't really say that, man, because then I hear Luis Ortiz and his people say that nobody wants to fight him, right? So it is what it is with that, all right? Then Eddie Hearn also goes on to say, uh, but if Wilder wants to build his name in the UK ahead of a potential unification fight with Joshua, uh, <laughs> let me just stop, man. Um, really Eddie Hearn I mean does, does he really have to build his name that fight is red hot right now I know there's gonna be people in the comments section saying what has he done and look man come on man save that for somebody else y'all know damn well if Wilder versus Joshua if there's reports that came out that said Klitschko doesn't want the rematch IBF is making Pulev weight the WBA is making Ortiz weight their main concern is unification we're getting the, the Wilder versus Joshua fight in um, november do you really think people are gonna say no no wilder should build his name first come on man nobody's gonna fucking say that that is the fight right now to a lot of fans maybe not you or you or you or you but a lot of fans man i'm seeing this all over social media 
that's a fight that a lot of people want to see. Even some casuals, man, they want to see that fight. So this whole he needs to build his name shit first is bullshit. Even if you come to hate on Wilder, you still know who he is. You can say whatever you want to say about him. He hasn't fought nobody. That's that's fine. I'm not I'm never going to argue with you about that. But you can't tell me you don't know who he is. Right. <laughs> you, if you come to hate on him, you know who he is enough to hate on him. Right. And he has a title and he's undefeated. Two undefeated guys in there that's known for knocking people the fuck out. That fight gonna sell, man. Fuck the bullshit. Fuck what Eddie Hearn talking about. But anyways, this is what he had to say. I done lost where I was, man, reading his quotes. Um, let me just start over. It says, but if Wilder wants to build his name in the UK ahead of a potential unification fight with Joshua, this fight would be perfect. Okay. Of course, if Wilder loses, that's the big fight with Joshua out the window. So it's risky for both of them. Yeah, and it's risky for Joshua to fight Wilder too. Well, for both of them to fight each other, all right? The funny thing is that Anthony Joshua has four opponents he really wants to fight. The rematch with Vladimir Klitschko, Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, and Dillian White. For some reason, AJ enjoyed his first fight with White so much he wants to do it again. So if White can win the heavyweight title, that fight will be massive in this country. I agree. I agree with that point. And yes, Joshua does have this thing that he wants to fight Dillian White again. If you guys remember at the post-fight press conference, uh, after their fight, the White versus Joshua fight, Joshua was saying he wanted to fight him again. You know what I mean? So, I, I do think that uh, that that right there is consistent with the way that I've heard Anthony Joshua speak of Dillian White. Even after their first fight, y'all at the uh, post fight presser, he did say he wanted to fight Dillian White again. I've heard him talk about Tyson Fury, but man, Tyson Fury got to sit in the back seat for right now. I know there's going to be some Fury fans, but I'm just being honest with you, man. I, I ain't seen that dude since 2015. You know what I mean? So until he comes back and gets into shape and, you know what I mean, and uh, lets us as fans know that he's serious and his weight's down and he has a fight schedule, you can miss me with Tyson Fury for right now. You know, he has to show me that or show a lot of us that he's serious about coming back and fighting, man, but... I understand what AJ is talking about, but um, Klitschko, I guess, you know, it is what it is. But um, yeah, man, you know, Dillian White, um, I guess we'll see what's going to, you know, I guess we'll see what's going to go on with all this. But uh, Dillian White, man, you know, Eddie Hearn, you can't say nobody wants to fight him now. You know, I heard Jarrell Baby Miller call him out. Now, a lot of you fans are leaving this in the comment section. You were telling me that there's an uh, interview out or something that's out right now where uh, Jarrell Miller was talking about that he doesn't want to travel to the uk i believe don't quote me this isn't written in stone but i believe you guys are saying either for joshua or dillian white or both and my answer to that would be he probably did say it you know but once you so show these fighters the money once you show them that check you cut that good check and once there's a uh, title shot implications involved or just a title shot period he gonna travel he, he, trust me, he will travel. If the money's right, title shot implications are involved, he will travel. You know what I mean? Um, that's what I would think. I would think that he would travel. You know what I mean? But you guys let me know what you're taking in the comment section about all this, man. I'm gone.